ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் மை செல்ஃப் எம்எஸ் பகவதி அம்மாள் அசிஸ்டன்ட் ப்ரொஃபஸர் கம்ப்யூட்டர் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஃப்ரம் ரோவினிங் காலேஜ் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் அண்ட் டெக்னாலஜி அவர் சப்ஜெக்ட் கோட் இஸ் சிஎஸ் த்ரீ சிக்ஸ் நைன் ஒன் அண்ட் அவர் சப்ஜெக்ட் டைட்டில் இஸ் எம்பெடட் சிஸ்டம்ஸ் அண்ட் ஐஓடி இன் யூனிட் டூ த டாபிக் இஸ் மல்டிபிள் டாஸ்க் அண்ட் மல்டிபிள் ப்ராசஸஸ் வாட் இஸ் டாஸ்க் எ டாஸ்க் அவர் யூனிட் of sequential code implementing the system actions and executed concurrently by an operating system real time systems require that task be performed within a particular time frame task is related to the performance of the real time systems a task also called a thread it is a simple program that thinks it has the cpu all to itself The design process for a real-time application involves splitting the work to be done into task responsible for portion of the problem. Then each task is assigned a priority, its own set of CPU registers and its own stack area. In the specific time constraint, system must produce its correct output. If system fails to meet the specified output, then the system is failed to. or quality decreases then real time systems are used for space flight air traffic control and high speed aircraft telephone switching electricity distribution industrial processes etc real time system must be 100% responsive and 100% of the time responsive time is measured in fractions of second but this is an ideal not often achieved in the field then real time database is updated continuously in aircraft example flight data is continuously changing so it is necessary to update it includes speed direction location height etc a process is a sequential program in execution terms like job and task are also used to denote a process then a process is a dynamic entity that execute a program on a particular set of data multiple processes may be associated with one program then a task is a single instance of an executable program here we given one diagram that is on the fly compar- uh, compression box in a multi programming environment usually more programs to be executed than could possibly be run at one time in cpu scheduling it switches from one process to another process cpu resource management is commonly known as scheduling the main objective of the multi programming is increases the cpu utilization then cpu scheduling is one kind of fundamental operating system functions then input and output of the micro compressor box is serial port it takes uncompressed data and processes it the output of the box is compressed data then given data is compressed using predefined compression table then modem is used such a type of box the programs need to receive and send data at different rate it is an example of rate control problems then it uses asynchronous input you can provide a button for compressed mode and uncompressed mode when user press uncompressed mode then the input data is passed through unchanged the button will be depressed at much lower rate than characters will be received since it is not physically possible for a person to repeatedly depress a button at even slow serial line rates then keeping up with the input and output data while checking on the button it can introduce some very complex control code in the program then sampling the button state too slowly can cause the machine to miss a button depression in entirely then it is a sampling it too frequently and duplicate data value can cause the machine to incorrectly compress data then this is the problem it solved maintaining a counter thank you